Mr. Setzer uh, from a COVID company. Uh, just a short interview about BIM. Uh, first question is um, about the small uh, project company because at the beginning of your career you worked uh, in a, a small company. So BIM can be useful uh, for a short, uh, small company? Yeah, yeah most definitely because uh, the landscape architect as I am. Uh, I used to work in a small landscape office uh, and we didn't have the BIM coordination but we still could be able, but even though we didn't back in those days, uh, we could be able to deliver our discipline models into a bigger uh, holistic project uh, which I'm working with today in, in another company. Uh, so. Yeah, you can. If you want to deliver your discipline model into a collaboration model, you can, of course, do that within a smaller company. It, you just need to know the tool and you need to know the methods. Uh, and the method, methods, it's, it's the key. Uh, and then, if you know the methods, you also know what the client expects. Thanks. Um, second question uh, is about Kovi, Kovi uh, because Kovi is uh, a big company and uh, is it possible with BIM uh, working uh, at the same project uh, from different places in the world because Kovi is a company working uh, all around the world. So. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be frank and I will say that uh, in some different regions, Kobe, Kobe Group is divided up to many regions. Uh, some regions are not that well developed when it comes to BIM, uh, just in some disciplines. Uh, whether uh, Denmark, for instance, or our BTM region, Bridge Tunnel and Marine Structures, uh, deliver BIM in all their projects, I don't know. Uh, but in Norway and in Sweden, uh, we, we have our demands for, from our customers. We have public customers for like uh, the rail administration and the roads administration. And these projects, they we, we need to uh, have resources getting in from other countries as well. So in Kobe, in Norway, uh, in the coming years, we will need to look to some of our colleagues, perhaps in, in India, uh, perhaps in Lithuania and we need to bring them into a closer collaboration and of course they will be seated in, in their respective offices but we will still collaborate in a model and then we just need mobile servers and web-based uh, server clients so uh, that will work and it works today uh, even though it doesn't work in the big scale of our projects today uh, we do pilots Okay. And uh, from your experience, uh, using BIM, have uh, you had uh, interoperability problems uh, in uh, some project? Yeah, and, and that's basically why I ended going from being a landscape architect. Uh, I'm still a landscape architect, but I, I have a role in my company as a BIM manager uh, and also within R&D. Uh, because we need to get everything, all our different kinds of applications to function together. And today they don't do it because one software provider uh, has the view on those functions in the program and they, they don't make the right description for uh, putting it onto another format which the other software provider can read. Uh, so, most definitely, yeah, that's a problem and we've seen it many times. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. much.